Hello and welcome to Clear Tech. So I have already made a video on Scrappy, but that video got a little longer than it needed to be and focuses on more of a pros and cons, uh, shortcut gestures and etc. So in this video, I'm gonna mainly focus on how you can quickly connect your phone to your PC and start controlling your phone with the help of Scrappy. So there are two ways to use Scrappy with the help of USB or Wi-Fi. You can also use Scrappy over the internet, but that would stretch this video unnecessarily. So I'm gonna lose it for this video. So in order to use Scrappy with the Wi-Fi or USB, you don't have to do anything in Scrappy itself. Instead, we're gonna have to connect ADB. If your ADB is connected to your PC with the help of USB, Scrappy is good to go. Or if your phone is connected to ADB via Wi-Fi, you can just fire up Scrappy and you're good to go too. So how to connect ADB over Wi-Fi or USB? So the methods are different for each connection. So we have to do nothing in Scrappy itself. If you want to use Scrappy in Wi-Fi or USB mode, all we have to do is connect ADB, your phone's ADB, to Wi-Fi or USB mode. So to connect your phones with Wi-Fi or USB mode, both of these methods are a little bit different and I'm gonna show you how we can do that. So first of all, download the latest version of Scrappy by going to their GitHub page and in the releases tab, you would find the latest release of Scrappy. Download the latest release of Scrappy and extract that zip file. Now, in that folder, you have to open a command prompt. Just type cmd in the address bar and hit enter. Now, you have to install ADB drivers on your PC. If you are using Windows 8 or above and connected to internet when you plug your Android phone to your PC, it would automatically download the ADB drivers. But if you are using Windows 7 or Linux, you would have to do it yourself. Now, you have opened a command prompt and installed the ADB drivers. What you have to do on your phone side is enable USB debugging by going to developers option, enabling developers option and, and enabling USB debugging. There you, if you find USB debugging security settings, you would have to enable them to, to mimic gesture from your PC, basically enabling control from your PC. So if you find that, enable that. Now connect your phone to your PC and if you see a pop-up, which you are gonna, if you're using Scrappy or any ADP application for the first time, enable the signature uh, allow USB debugging. Now, now type ADB devices. If you see your device like this, it means you have successfully enabled ADB via USB connection. So just fire Scrappy. So what you have did is just establish the ADB connection and fired Scrappy. We have did nothing in the Scrappy itself. So what we have to do in the wireless mode is just connect the ADB to the wirelessly and just fire Scrappy and you're good to go. So what we have to do in phone side, you don't have to launch Scrappy. After identifying your device, you have to type these two commands. First of all, note what the IP your router have assigned to your phone. Please note that your phone and your PC must be on the same router and note the IP your router have assigned to your mobile and replace that IP in the command that I have given you. The, all these commands are in the description, so you can check that there. With the, with these two commands executed, you have successfully established ADB over Wi-Fi. So just fire Scrappy and remove the USB cable and the mirroring should be continued. So if you have noticed, we have to execute a lot of commands and if you are going to use Scrappy regularly or frequently, it's a, it's a quite cumbersome. So what I have did is I have created a batch file and you can also create a batch file by typing all those commands in sequence and save that notepad file with the BAT extension and place that BAT file, batch file into the location that you have extracted a Scrappy. So if you fire that batch file next time, it would execute all those commands and connect your phone to a Scrappy. So what I do myself is I just connect my phone with the USB and execute that batch file and remove my phone and my mirroring is good to go. It's just two steps. So that is it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one.